YouTube. This is part two of how to build a ray tracer from scratch in C++. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up your environment really quickly and how to set up your project files in a way that you can compile them without having to remember a lot of commands. So what you want to do is download and install dev C++ and then locate the directory where the compiler is and then add that directory to your path environment variable. Like so. Once you do that, you should be able to execute the compiler from the command prompt. If you see no input files, then you're ready to start programming. The next thing you want to do is set up a project folder where you're going to be storing all your files and you can come up with a name. Mine, I'm going to name Raster Rain. Start your text editor. Save it as main C. For those of you who are experienced programmers, you can skip this part. These are some standard commands that any Hello World program would need. Include IO stream using namespace std There's your basic setup for your main program. Now we're going to create a make file, which is extremely helpful when it comes to compiling programs over and over this way. These are the standard commands you would need to know in order to compile the file from the command prompt. But we're not going to be compiling from the command prompt, we're going to be executing the make file from the command prompt. It's always a good idea to delete your object files after you compile the program because they can uh, interfere with the next time you compile the program. That's it. You want to save it as make file with a capital M. And now you should be able to compile your main.c file from the command prompt by typing make. First you need to move into the directory where your progress files are. 
and there you go. What it's done is it's compiled the main.c++ file, it's generated the rasterrain.exe, and removed the main.o file. And if you execute the program, it just says rendering. And that's how you set up a, a computer program that you can compile from your make file. So from this point, we're ready to start talking about some of the actual concepts of a ray tracer. A ray tracer is a program that produces an image where each pixel in that image has a color. And the color of the pixel, of the final result, needs to correspond to the color of an object within the scene. So how do you do this? Well, to start with, you need to create two nested for loops that loop over the entire height and width of your final image and then um, assigns a color to each pixel. A better way of thinking of that is your for loop looks at each pixel one at a time and then does something and then what you get back after that is a color. So for we need to find the width and height we're going to start out with a 640 by 480 image so what this for loop does is it starts from the left side of the image and then moves through each pixel to the right side of the image. Inside of that we want to place another for loop that starts at the top and works its way to the bottom. That's the way images are. The origin of an image is usually the top left. What we've got is a program that assigns a height and width and then makes a, a loop through a matrix that is equal to the number of pixels that would be in an image of that dimension. So once we do that, we return a color. and then we need to save the image somehow so we need to write a function that puts our colors from each pixel into an image and then saves the image now this is something that I didn't really have a lot of experience with but I figured it out and I'm going to show you guys next time stay tuned